Okay, next, uh, Sean Gallagher is originally from Britain, uh, studied zoology in college and became a photojournalist afterwards and is now based in, in Beijing. Uh, he, in his case, uh, he has worked for the past uh, three years on environmental projects uh, with the Pulitzer Center. And, and he's also an example of someone who is, uh, we're, very, uh, we're very pleased about and, uh, and, and is happening uh, with increasing frequency for us of repeat grants. I mean, Sean has had three different grants with the Pulitzer Center to work first on desertification in China and then on the disappearing wetlands of that country and most recently on, on deforestation. Another reason that, that Sean uh, keeps uh, getting grants from us is that he is, like all of these folks here today, he is a wonderful presenter of, of his subject uh, across a wide range. I mean, today he was uh, with developmentally challenged students in high school earlier in the day, and then he was presenting at the Wilson Center to academics this afternoon, and tomorrow morning, I think I've got this right, that he's presenting to preschoolers. So uh, this is a night, tonight, tonight he'll be talking about his work in China. Sean. I didn't know about the preschoolers. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for uh, welcoming uh, me and us here this evening. Um, I moved to uh, China in uh, 2006 uh, after initially receiving uh, a grant to do some, some traveling, and China has become my home. Um, in 2009, my first project, which this image is from, uh, was about documenting the effects of uh, desertification in northern and, and northwest China. Uh, with the help of my first grant from the Pulitzer Center, I, I was able to travel for about two months uh, across northern China from uh, Beijing on the east coast uh, through the northern provinces all the way to the, the borders with Pakistan and Afghanistan, uh, stopping off along the way, documenting various uh, issues related to the larger issue of desertification, drought, and, uh, and water loss in, in the north of China. And as John mentioned, um, I studied uh, zoology at university, so I, I chose um, environmental issues as my focus as a result of that. As we all know, China is becoming a bigger part of all of our lives in, in many different ways, and China is becoming increasingly important. Uh, within China, they're suffering from many, many different types of crises, environmental crises. And so I've tried to dedicate myself to, over the past five years, to documenting these crises, to try to understand them um, long term. So the images that you're looking at here, the first uh, four are all from my first project on the desertification of, of northern China, as I said. Uh, but in 2010, I received my uh, second uh, grant to document the challenges facing China's wetlands. Uh, again, this offered me the opportunity to travel for about two months uh, across uh, seven different sites from uh, the northern border regions with Russia to the Tibetan Plateau to, um, to Guangdong province near Vietnam in the south, uh, documenting many different stories, stories which all interrelate as part of the larger issue. Uh, this image is from uh, my third uh, project about uh, China's forests. Um, most of China's forests have been destroyed, as have most of North America's and, and, and Europe's in our early development. Uh, so I went, went to um, Sichuan province in the south to report on the changes to these forests. And part of that story was about um, biodiversity. And obviously biodiversity in, in the south of China uh, includes the giant panda. So this is one of the, uh, the images from that series. And looking at how um, forest clearance in southern China has related to the disappearance of, of many, many animal species. And this isn't just a, a, an example of what's happening in China, but this is a, a global trend that we're seeing, a drastic number in animal species. Uh, this image, just going back to the, uh, the wetland series, is from the same province as the image taken of the panda. So what I've tried to do is really try to relate these uh, subjects to one another and show how issues related to desertification, to wetlands, biodiversity, are all interlinked. Um, but always showing it in the light of, rather than trying to point the finger at China and, and just report negative stories, I'm using China as an example 
of the, uh, the global issues which we're all facing on many different continents. But China has the advantage that they are suffering from uh, all the major environmental crises. So this has allowed me to focus really on one place for a long period of time to really understand these issues at a, at a different level rather than just dropping, dropping into, the, into the issue. And really, this, this reporting in my early stages of my career has been um, with the support of the Pulitzer Center and their encouragement to investigate new ways of reporting this su very subtle crisis. I, I, I rarely go to flashpoints or flash events. Uh, I try to just dedicate myself to these, these crises which on a day-to-day -day basis we don't really think about but are slowly creeping up on us. And in, in China this is, has become incredibly important. Um, so thank you very much.